finishing off our hoop house this week on Barely Homesteading. Hello everyone, Lumberjack here. Just wanted to give you a quick introduction to this video. So we do have the greenhouse done. It took a lot longer than expected. We had originally planned on this taking a couple to maybe a few weeks. Uh, we've been working on it for about six months and finally we're able to get it done. And so just wanted to let you know that um, <clears throat> while we had some other projects going on and some failures, as you'll see in the video, uh, this greenhouse did take a bit longer than expected, but we are super happy with it and we'll show you a little bit about that at the end. So as many of you saw in our preparations for the early snow this summer, we made this hoop greenhouse. And one of the things that we found is that we really need to get ends on the greenhouse to prevent the cold air from going through and killing the plants. We would like to use this greenhouse in the winter to maybe grow some winter things or to be able to start things pretty early in the spring. And so we need to get the uh, ends on, if at all possible, before the real snows start to hit. Now, as you can see, this greenhouse curves quite a bit. You can see that curve there. And so to try to match that curve with uh, straight boards, it's going to be a challenge. And you can see just how much that curve is here. That's a straight 2 by 4 and to try to get that to match is going to be difficult. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to see if I can actually get boards to purposely bow to match that curve. All right, so here's our setup. I've got some cinder blocks to raise our boards up and I've put them with the natural bow that the boards already have facing down. Then I've got some weight on there to try to encourage that bow even more. So we will see as the days progress how this works out. Last year we showed you how we hastily made a hoop house over two of our raised beds to try to protect some of our uh, late crops from a very early snow. This year we're going to try to finish this off and make this hoop house a more permanent greenhouse. And we're going to work on that this week. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be cutting a template so that we can know the curve of the hoop house and be able to make the frame based upon that template. This is just a piece of pressure treated plywood. Any sheet wood was going to work. Uh, this was the cheapest uh, right now at, that we could get at our local big box store. And so that's what we're using. All right, so we got our template cut out. Now we're going to use this to build the frame for that uh, quarter moon, uh, quarter circle of the hoop house. All right, so we cut out the template and I've got the beginning of the frame done. I've got the 90 degree angle. So let's look at this. This is the bottom board. Over here is the upright that'll go next to the door. I've got a 45 degree board here. 
and I have mitered the end of it with 245 so that it sits right in this corner. And now we're going to take and follow this template and attach a curved board to this so that that will interface with the hoop house. And speaking of curved boards, here they are. These have been sitting for about six months now. And you can see I've got a pretty nice curve on them. We're gonna see, we're gonna take these, cut them, and see if we can get them to match the curve of the hoop house. All right, so our curved boards were not quite curved enough. We tried to put some pressure on them and bend them, and it, the board popped. It uh, snapped. So we got to come up with a different plan. Uh, I think I'm going to try to piece together some pe uh, multiple boards and see how that works. Uh, not sure it's going to work out okay, um, but we're going to try it. All right, so second attempt for our hoop house sides. Uh, as you saw earlier, we broke the two by four that we were trying to bend. Uh, so now we're gonna try a laminate. So I've taken a two by four, cut it into about three eighths inch thick strips, and we're going to uh, put some glue between them, some polyurethane glue, which is waterproof. It's indoor outdoor glue and then we're going to bend that laminate around our template and allow it to dry in that bent shape. All right, that worked out really well. Uh, bent the board, no problem. And so now we just have to wait for the glue to dry and then we can release the clamps and screw it to the actual frame. We'll have to trim off the excess here and then we'll be ready to put it up onto the hoop house. Alright, so we've gotten the, uh, the frame squared up and uh, doubled up around the door and above so that we can get the plastic on. Now our plastic sheets are so long that we can't stand them up in here and mark it off and cut it. And so we're going to have to do a rough cut first and then put it up and do a final cut.
All right, so we got the plastic up on this side, nice and stable, looks really good. Need to get the uh, laminated curve down for the other side, and then we can put the plastic up there, and we can work on the door, and then this side will be done. So we've got the greenhouse done. You can see we've got the clear plastic on both ends and along the top. We've got a door on both sides for easy access. One of them opens in. And we purposely had it open in so that in the winter, if we choose to grow in here, we don't have to dig the snow completely out in front of it in order to get in. The other door does open out. And so <clears throat> regardless of if you have your hands full, we can get in or out of the greenhouse either way. We've got insulation around most of the major gaps. It's not completely insulated, but it does get rather warm in here. So it's about 60 degrees outside right now. And in here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's about 90 degrees. And so it does get rather warm in here. We've got some uh, tomatoes that are growing. It is the beginning of October and they're doing quite well in here. And so we're hoping to get a good tomato crop from these later season tomatoes in the greenhouse. We also have some cucumbers and some celery still in here, and we're hoping to let them grow and get a little bit more time on them. So we hope you've enjoyed this video of us finishing off our hoop greenhouse. It's taken a while, but we're super happy with it, and we're hoping that it's going to serve us well. For Barely Homesteading, this is Lumberjack saying use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye!